Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Okay, today we're going to do control chart. Okay, for this time we're going to do the attributes chart in which in attributes chart we have two types. Okay, first one is the P chart. Okay, I show you the P chart uh, example previously in the previous video. And now I want to show you the C chart. Okay, C chart is a counting chart. It's very easy. But in industry, it's rarely used because in industry, they will use, they will involve with the thousands of items, okay? But C chart is more on the small scale, for example, complaints, for example, uh, uh, to calculate defect, okay, for the small uh, manufacturer, okay, for or, uh, SME or uh, home base. Uh, business okay so it's, it's very simple okay for example this is uh, the question is for pizza delivery okay it gave us information here okay on the days and late delivery okay the company goals is to make all the delivery within 30 minutes okay that's their target okay so anything about 30 minutes is considered as late so they have one week um, data. So for day one, the delivery, the late delivery is seven times per, in a day. Okay, so up to seven days. And then the total number of late delivery for each of the past seven days. Okay, here, calculate the UCL, upper control limit, and the lower control limit. Construct control chart with the three sigma control limit so that's mean that the z value going to be three okay that's the clue here and then indicate the delivery is the delivery process is, was out of control or not is it in control or not in control okay and then there's another part okay they ask on the what random causes might result in the process of being out of control so this this is uh this is theoretical part okay this is the the way to test your understanding on how to uh, rectify okay how the the problems so you need to know the meaning of non-random causes first hand okay if you don't know what does it mean so you don't know how to answer it so non-random causes okay or assignable causes means that a uh, problem or causes that can be investigated, can be identified, and can be solved or rectified. Okay, that one is a non-random. And then the other one is a natural causes or random causes in which we cannot control. Okay, maybe be, maybe due to weather, we cannot control the weather. Okay, for for delivery, and then uh, some other things that not, uh, not we cannot stop. Okay. Okay, okay, later I will discuss more on that. Okay, first we have to, to solve part one, part two, and part three. So first thing is, we know that what, what attributes are going to use. So the first clue is there's no value for A and D. So definitely it's not a variable chart. And this is not in the metric units. Okay, it's just uh, about late delivery. So there's no measurement involved. So definitely it's not a variable chart. Okay. So it definitely uh, attributes charts, but is it P or C chart? So we check again. Okay, no sample group. Okay, so you don't have, if you have sample, then you need to use the P chart. Okay. Okay, now definitely you know that this is a simple C chart. Okay, so how to, first step is find the formula. Okay, so let's see. These are the formula for control chart, the upper control limit and the lower control limit, okay? So, from this formula, we have C bar. What is C bar? C bar means that average of C, okay? So, these are the C, okay? So, what you have to do, okay, before that, okay, we have the 3, 6, sigma. So, the Z uh, value is 3. So, we need to find the average of all this, okay? So, we first, we need to find the sum is 59 and we need to divide by 7 for the average so we get 8.43 okay so the next step is you need to plug in into the formula so we have the c bar here we have the z value from here 3 and then we have um, square root of c bar okay for ucl so we get 
for UCL is the plus. Okay, so it's 17.14 and for LCL, again, we plug in and this time going to be minus and then we get negative 0 0.28. Okay, remember in the graph for uh, control chart, there's no <laughs> negative value. Okay, so what you have to do, you have to put at to put it as zero okay for the lower control limit so what we have to do next we plot in the graph paper so these are the graph okay so first these are the delivery okay the delivery and these are the days the x-axis okay so control limit is the c bar okay this is the c bar and this is we calculated earlier ucl and remember we uh we we have to 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 read to exclude negative value so we decide to have lcl equal to zero so these are the late deliveries okay for day one seven for day two fifteen so you plot everything here and then what you can conclude from this graph okay the process is out of control because this one is out of the range but don't worry if it's near zero is the best because there's no late delivery okay so this one is out of control Okay, so the we can say that for the part three, they ask whether the process is controlled or not. So the process is out of control because this one uh, data have go above the upper control limit. So for the part for the part four, okay, it asks what random causes. So random causes or known as assignable causes. The, the main thing you need to understand that can be solved, problem can be solved, okay, or causes can be solved. And within our control, okay. So for this, you can answer traffic congested, okay. So what you have to do, the rider has to go to alternate routes, okay. Or the rider is not familiar with the delivery because it, that's why it late, he, he, he delivered late. So he might use ways, he might use maps, okay. For me, he need to prepare uh, beforehand uh, the, 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 the road that he going to take, okay? Or motorcycle breakdown sometimes, okay? You need, what you need to do, you need to do the maintenance and repair. Okay, remember, if you say weather because of the rain, it's, it's, it's not the answer that we're looking for because that one is considered as random, or, uh, random causes, okay? Because you cannot stop the rain, <laughs> okay? So, I hope you understand on the non-random or assignable causes. And in the industry or manufacturing, we look at non-random causes because it's very important to make sure that our process is in control so that uh, no defect or uh, out-of-range product is produced in the manufacturing. Okay, so I hope you understand. Okay, uh, the feature is very simple. Okay, make sure you use this the correct formula and then I hope you understand. Alright, see you again. Thank you.